Hey, what's up, War Gamers? Welcome back to World of War Gaming. I'm Isaiah, and today Rob and I are going to be playing some Rain in Hell. Now, I have a. I've, whew, if you've seen any of the solo campaign playthrough stuff that I did, you know that I love this game. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to toss a link to that right up in one of those corners. Go check it out. The campaign is an enormous amount of fun. But. I've been, I haven't played it in a while, and it's been just kind of stewing in the back of my brain. And I showed the game to Rob when I first got the rules, and uh, he, he enjoys it just as much as I do, because it's just good, bloody fun. So, we decided that we're going to work some, some games of Rain and Hell into our schedule, and we're going to try to play through a few of the different philosophies, and it, all, of, all of the different missions, but definitely try to play through as many of the different philosophies as we can, and play around with different list builds and stuff like that. So, without further ado, today we're going to see my judges against Rob's Demented in the mission Desecration. So let's take a look at the board and the armies. And before we do that, if you have not liked, subscribed, or hit the bell notification yet, consider doing that for me, please, because it does help out an enormous amount. And let's get into this game of Rain and Hell. Scenario. Desecration. Terrain rules. The board should be set up as per the medium terrain rules. Roll a d6 to determine who is player 1 and who is player 2. Player 1 is the destroyer. Player 2 is the defender. Players deploy their forces as per the map below. One objective is placed in each location identified on the map, placing 4 total. The game lasts 5 rounds. If player 1 manages to destroy at least 3 objectives, they are the winner. If player two manages to prevent at least three objectives from being destroyed, they are the winner. If neither player achieves this, the game is a draw, unless one player retreats, in which case they lose the scenario. Special rules. A defender demon may move into contact with an objective that is not contested and claim that objective. They carry it around with them until the end of the game, and when they die, it is dropped where they do. When a destroyer demon moves into an... A, moves into contact with an objective that's not contested, they can try to destroy it. To do that, they make an, a normal attack roll and need two sixes to successfully blow up the objective. So in that, we rolled for medium terrain. We got two forests, a swamp, and the crags. Uh, both of the forests are corpse forests. So on a five up, when you move through it, you take D3 damage. The swamp is a swamp of despair. So when you take your swamp test on the D6 to reduce your movement, if you roll a four or more, you don't get to move at all. You're just stuck sitting where you are. So we're going to take a look at the cabals and get in here and rain some hail. All right, so I will be bringing my Cabal, the Infernus Arbitus, the judges, because they're the Cabal that I'm used to playing. I'm familiar with them. Um, Rob is still kind of new to the game. We're both kind of new to playing against each other in this game. Most of my experience with this game has been me enjoying the heck out of that solo campaign. So with that being said, I'm playing the judges. I've got my leader, who is a zealot with the Thunderhammer artifact and the essence of Steadfast Soul. I've got my Devout Demon, who is a, an Executioner. I've got an Armored Demon. I have a... What are you, Kenshin? I know this is my Tentacle Beast. <laughs> this is a Slaughter Fiend, Corpulent Demon, Spine Demon, and also another Slaughter Fiend. So that'll be my team... For this game, my cabal, the Infernus Arbitus. Demented. The Demented. So we have a Zealot. What are your artifacts? Uh, he has uh, the Screaming Shield. Screaming Shield. Uh, he's got regen and Regenerating Soul. And Regenerating Soul. This is the Madness Demon. That is the Madness Demon. Which I think is a great idea because Madness is such an abstract concept. And to have something that's just, it's so terrifying that its form and physical form is beyond... Your comprehension, followed by a corpulent demon, mm -hmm. a slaughter fiend, yep. 
two spine demons, and a tentacle beast on the end. That's correct. That'll be the Demented Cabal. Let's get deployed, let's get a mission, and let's get to gaming. All right, so we are going to be playing Desecration, which means we need to roll for an attacker defender. Four, four. four well. Do it again. Five. I One. Five. So it says that the winner is the attacker. So I'm going to set up my forces over there. Rob's going to set up his forces over here. Well, we're just going to switch that, I think, because I don't think it matters. No, I don't think it matters. Are you okay with that, Rob? I don't care. All right, cool. so we are on the board. I'm down here in this corner, and Rob is over here in this corner. Going to be dealing with some of those corpse trees right off gate, but that's going to bring us to round one initiative. It's pretty good. And roll. Rob's roll. So I'm going to keep that one. Now, Rob, with his um, his philosophy, it's your philosophy yeah, ability I to let you roll roll as many as I want, and it's once per game or any time. Uh, as long as my leader's on the battlefield. as long as your leader's on the battlefield. All right, sounds good. Uh, I think I am just gonna reroll all this. All right, yeah, do I'm, it. I'm greedy. Do it. I'm crazy. Ooh, another twelve. Ooh, piece of candy. Piece of candy. <laughs> piece of candy. Uh, that's all that came out wrote. to a, that came out to a, a slightly better roll. Yeah, yeah, it's better. It's better. It's better than it was. Yeah. Sure. So you got. 12, 12, 10, 7, 5, 4, 2. Yep, because uh, most of them were sixes. So these yeah, that's sixes. almost yeah. all improvements. All, they're all. Cause almost they're all improvements. Going, yeah. And I ended up with 12, 11, 9, 8, 7, 7, 2. So we're going to go to round one. Uh, Rob and I are going to roll off to see who gets to activate the first 12. Get a 6. I'm going to get a 6. 5. First activation for judges. I'm going to move my leader David out. David is coming eight inches straight this way towards, I'm assuming, probably that objective. Either one of those. Either one of those, yeah. I'm going to activate Fair. a Slaughter Fiend. I'm going to come three, and pivot this way, and end up right there. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to... Zealot moving through the forest to right here, so that's going to be a corpse forest. Corpse forest. We're good. You're safe. The corpses did not grab at you. All right. I'm going to activate a Slaughter Fiend. I'm going to come three, six to there. And that'll be my 11. A Spine Demon through the forest as well. So that's going to be another Corpse Grabby Grab. He's good. One, he's Baku fine. the Corpulent Demon up his four. Right there. That's the other Slaughter Fiend? Yep, uh, not Slaughter Fiend. Spine demon. Spine, spine demon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be... Wait, no, we have to roll off. Oh, oh, wait, no, I was supposed to go next. Oh, my God. You just skipped me. Shame. Listen. Then I move my tentacle beast up on eight, and we will roll off for seven. he you -ya. That's super cop. You got this. Five. One. You got it. All right, so I got the first on seven. I'm going to move this spine demon up that way. Ending right there. Which will go to Demented on 7. Uh, I'm just going to do this thing I totally didn't do off camera before. <laughs> Sounds good. Alright, that's the other Spine Demon in place. Yep. Which will be me on my next 7. Which will be my this guy who's going to go 5. This way. Ta-ta! Corpulent demon going four through the woods. Let's get a uh, corpse check. I know he takes Ooh, a damage. Ooh, D3 damage. One damage. Okay. Oh, no, shame. Madness <laughs> demon moving into the cops of corpse trees. Skirt. Yep, just scoot him out of the way. The trees, they hate me. That was my five and my four. And then a forest test. Uh, you are correct. Please, and thank you. Want to, okay. I know you don't want to, but you got it. That's a one. You're good. And then we roll off for turn two. I got a two. I got one. You got a one. Hit my dice, and it still stayed on a two and beat Listen, you. Because I'm just. For gold, I would be rich. 
If wishes and butts was candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. Bring my other Slaughter Fiend out. Slaughter Fiend just moving up his five, six inches? Five. Five inches. And movement stop. on my Slaughter Fiend's wrong, but I fixed it. We're going to pick them up now, and we're going to roll initiative for round two. This is what the board looks like as our two cabals begin to converge on this ley line of relics running across the board. Judge's initiative. Not too bad, but not too great. Demented. Uh, there is a 12. There's a 12. Otherwise, it's very, very similar to my roll. I'm going to keep the 8, and I'll keep the 7, and I'll re-roll these. Okay. All Man, right. Look at all these 6s. I'm okay with that. The 6s are better, and you didn't get a 1 back, so that is a, a better roll. But can you put them in order? Uh, pfft, math is hard. Fair. So for judges, we got 12, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 2. And the Demented end up with 12, 8, 7, double 6, 5, and 3. Roll off for 12. I got 6. I didn't. So I'm going to move. I'm going to char move my leader into contact with the objective and try to break, try to break this thing. It's a regular, normal combat attack and I need two sixes to bust it. Oh, I got halfway there. Um, Rob Zealot moving into base to base and using his action to pick up this uncontrolled objective. All right, that'd be a roll off for eight. I got six. Hmm. Four. I'm charge my tentacle beast right there. And take a swing. So I'm a tentacle beast, so I give him minus one. So he's normal six, goes to five. I get plus one for the charge, putting me at five. So right now, I need threes to hit this zealot. The shield relic that the zealot has, though, says that he can never be hit on twos. The lowest he can be hit on is a three. So I'm going to take my five dice, and we'll try to hit him. I got two hits. Two hits. Uh, sixes, right? Yep. Okay. Triple ones. Block I one. A six. Block one. Take this demon moving out of the trees up to behind this crag. He will have to take a corpse tree <laughs> test though. Oh no. Uh, three. Three. All good. Then we roll off for seven. Numero seven. Five. Give me a six. That's nah, hey, it's a two. It's better than a one, yeah. and I got worse than a six. Yeah. So looking good for Rob and the Demented right. Cabal. Executioner up to get him ready to get into the fray Rob next. Seven coming over. That's the tentacle beast moving over yep. towards that objective. Um, we both have sixes, so it's time to roll off again. I got three this time. Ooh. I did not. Moving my person. corpulent demon up his We got spine demon and slaughter fiend moving up their movement because he had two sixes, so we just went ahead and moved both of them at the same time. Nothing particularly special happening there. That'll bring us to five, where we will make a roll off. Yeah, two. Ooh, ah, six. Ah, there it is. The corpulent demon who yep. will heal that damage. Get that out of there. Yep. And then he's going to move four. I'll move him four this way. So that should end him up right here. Seems legit. Yep. Perfect. The next two initiative steps were just me, so I moved my one of my slaughter fiends on five and moved my spine beast on four, which will bring us to three, which is Rob's activation. The only one I have left is going to be this dude flying into this forest next to this thing and picking it up. All right, sounds good. Let's get a corpse forest Let's test. Trees. We're good. Good. And then I'll move my other slaughter fiend up his five inches, bringing us to round three. Initiative for the judges. Ooh, that's real. So ended up with four, 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 three, two, two, one, which may very well be the worst initiative roll I have ever had in this game. Anyways, initiative roll for Demented. Yep. Uh, not that bad. I mean, that's, um, you got a twelve, and then otherwise it's basically my roll. I'm gonna keep the five because it's higher than everything I have, and I'll re-roll all of these. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, I will take it. Better. Well, you don't have a choice but to take it. You don't know me. So if I have anything left after Rob's activations, which are, by the way, 
12, 11, 10, 7, 7, 5, 1. So Rob's whole team and then whatever's left of my team after that. So Spine Demon carrying the objective is going to fly out of the trees, take a corpse tree test. I don't want to. I take oh, damage. that one. So D3. Three, Three damage. damage. Tentacle Beast moves base to base with the objective and picks it up. Spine Beast is going to charge my zealot. So he'll be combat seven. Uh, he is combat six. Six. Plus one for the charge. I yep. charge. I get to reroll three dice, I believe. Correct. I... Yeah, that's fine. Here we go. Uh, all of them? All of them hit. Okay. So one, two, three, six, seven. All right. Block them one. Block one. Take six. Sort of like even going to move four, but not quite into the tree. Five around this corner. Okay, seems that seems good. So he's going to activate Zealot, who heals one because that's his essence, the restorative vigor? Yes. Okay. And then he's going to move seven back this way. Okay. He's a mean person. Okay. Okay. So that was not nearly as vicious as I thought it would be. So I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with my leader. I'm going to start with my zealot, and I'm going to attack this spine. I'm combat 9 right now. I'm base 6, plus 1 for focus combat, and plus 1 for... or plus 2 for being a zealot, and attacking a regular minion. So that's going to be... I can change one of these to a 6, because it's focus combat, because of my essence. So that's going to be 8 hits, plus the crit effect. The 6 will trigger my hammer, which will do an automatic 2 damage to all enemies within 3. Which right now is just him. So he's got an automatic 2, and then you got... No triple ones yet. We're good. Er, yep. Yeah, no triple ones. We're good. No. And then you got... 5, 8 more coming at you, mm -hmm. um, with your combat of 6. Here we go. Uh, not triple ones, no triples anywhere. I don't block any, he's dead. Okay. Get a soul dice for killing a demon. That's a six. That's helpful in a big way. I'm move my armored demon, or my slaughter fiend, around and try to whack that objective. All right, so I'm combat six. None sixes. So the triple ones in my roll triggers the madness of demons effect, which makes him combat four effectively effectively combat four okay because every for every time it ticks up he gets another bonus to his defense i'm assuming or to his combat i assume yeah the disorder score increases by one and i add the disorder score to their combat ability when making combat defense rolls. okay sounds good so next up i failed there i'm going to charge the tentacle beast with the spine demon so I would be normally seven. I'm minus one because it's a tentacle beast. So combat. I'm looking for twos here, and I have three re rolls. Um, I will use one of those re rolls, which is all still a fail. So five hits on five combat four. Hits. Here we go. Uh, no triples. I don't block anything. I'll five charge in my corpulent demon and try to do, try to finish him off. I don't know how well it's going to work. So I'll be combat four. On combat four, looking for threes. And that's with the minus one from the tank will be? Yep. Okay. Because I would normally get a, I'd take away my target bonus, basically. So I got four hits. Uh, here we go. No uh, blocks. I'll deal two damage to you via my insane madness thing. So because I rolled a set of triples, I'll deal the number on the dice back to you. What's that from? Uh, that is from the madness. That is the universal demon... For Demented. So, yeah. Tentacle Beast is gone, and hit the objective he was holding is just sitting right here between these two. Next up, I will activate my Tentacle Beast, methinks. Yes, I'll activate my Tentacle Beast, and I'll charge his Zealot. So it'll be the same thing, fives on fives, looking for I'm threes. I'm going to use my once per round ability for my madness demon to make your combat So dice. that ability I didn't know about, so that was within three. Um, so I'm going to stop my charge. I can still end within my inch to, to be able to charge and be outside of three of that madness demon. So that is what and I'm going looking. to do for fours. Pretty good. Um, two hits. And sixes. 
block, block one one's one's on that. So um, the madness thing ticks up one. And you'll take one damage from me rolling triples. And I'll take one damage. Yep, yep, yep. Soul dice for, oh, for another soul dice because you killed the guy. To add to my movement. What other guy did I kill? Uh, this guy, remember? Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah, Good call. Good, Good call. So I'm burning this six, and then we'll roll this for the other one that I was supposed to get, which yeah, is a five. Did. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm going to... I'm gonna actually keep that six and I'm gonna use the five because that still sounds, sounds good. that still gets me where I wanna be. And then I've got that six to save later for um trying to bust an objective. So we're gonna swing an I'm combat eight on this, looking for two. Two fails. Uh okay, here we go. Combat six. Uh block one. I'll block one. Take uh, six. I'll take six, and you'll take two for my triples. Roll cool, cool, cool. Four initiative step one. Got six. I didn't. All right. Slaughter Fiend over this one. Ooh. His last activation is the Slaughter Fiend. I'm going to use the judge's once per game ability to um, negate the special ability. So he'll stay. He'll be at combat seven instead of eight, which will make it slightly harder for Looking him. Looking for fours. Bonk. Um... It was worth it. There was four, yeah. one less there because of that. Mm -hmm. Combat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can pick up the dice. Um, I will block three of them. That sounds good. Take seems the seems current board state at the end of round three. Going to round four. Initiative for the judges. <laughs> Better than last round. Better. Landing on seven 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 five three one. Initiative for the demented. Kia. Um, eight seven. I'll reroll these three. Okay. Uh, and I'll take it. Okay, yeah, that's an improved landing on eleven eight eight seven. So a new round, so I'm, he's going to attack my here. I'm going to use my judge ability again this round. I was wrong before. It's not once per game. It's once per round. So I'm going to use that to keep him on sevens, keep him hitting me on uh, That helped. That's not bad. It's a good roll for you, but that definitely helped for me. Yep. Uh, oops, that was a six. So five. Combat eight. Uh, one. And I'll use this six. That I have as a soul dice to block okay. another one. So I'll take three. Sounds Use good. one of his eights to focus combat the corpulent into my tentacle. So with the focus combat and the minus one, it bounces out to fours on fours. So he'll be needing three. Uh, three. Three on my four combat. One. So I'll take two. All right. So going to activate this spine demon that's carrying the objective and just flying straight back away from It'll the be a roll off for initiative seven. Got a one. Six. Oh. The tables have officially just turned. walk up to give some special ability cover that he has because he can make your combat score really bad. Yeah. Um, just to kind of help protect that zealot a little bit, which will bring us to my activations on seven, which are numerous. First off, I am going to try and break this objective. Combat six. Oh, I broke it. No. Sweet. I managed to do it, and then I will make my move action to go this way into combat there. I won't be able to swing this turn, but I'll be able to focus combat next turn. Which Try is to crack this objective with him. It's combat six, looking for two sixes. None. Try six. to break the objective with the corpulent. Nope. that fellow into him. Focus attack, so be combat So, nine. looking for twos as an executioner and I'm fighting a model that has four health or less left. I can re-roll any of my dice, so I will re-roll these two ones. Pretty good. So, that will be nine hits, sir. Just gonna roll all sixes. It'll be fine. Uh, two sixes. Two sixes. I'll block two and, and take seven. I will die. All right, that'll be a soul dice for me, though. I get a three. Charge the Corpulent with my Slaughter Fiend. So combat six plus one for the charge against his current combat three because of the Tentacle Beast. Yep. I'll be needing Come to two. my boy. Looking for twos. That will be all of them. All of them. 
All sixes. Nah, None dang. of them. So six damage. That's Wait. Good. I didn't roll enough dice. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm combat six plus one for the charge. Gotcha, yeah, one more. Also hits. That was good. All right, so seven, seven damage. Roll off for one. I got a three. He got a He's five. Gonna... Focus combat, so he will be combat uh, I believe nine. nine. Yep, combat nine. On my com... Oh, combat eight, because still tentacle beast. Yes. But still looking for two. two. One fail. One fail. Against my yep. combat four. Just get these out of the way. Bam. Which I will make none, so I will take. Seven. That is enough to kill my tentacle beast, and yep, you get a soul dice. A oh, one. Which is also Perfect. my zealot will move her set her movement seven up That's two that. fifth and final round. Give four judges. Landing on eight, eight, seven, three, two, and for two. the demented. Um, let's see. Ooh, none of those are good. I'll just reroll them all. Okay. That's better. That is much better. Landing on 12, 12, 7, 6, which is a much better roll than the, the first. first 12. Rob's going to activate his zealot and charge my armored demon. Is that how you want to charge? Uh, that's good enough. Okay. I'll actually go like. Okay. Combat nine, looking for two. Kia. Look at all those ones, but it's a quad one. Which isn't helpful for you. You are correct. But I have one, two, four, five, five hits. Okay. Gets my combat six. I got one block, so I will take and the four. other twelve. Or no, that was a yeah, that was a, the other twelve. Yep. Moving the spine demon six inches back towards me. Staying on eight, I'm gonna try to crack that objective open. We're two sixes. Just one. Eight, I'll focus combat. Looking for threes thing. because of the shield. Oh, that's not great. Four hits. And defense. Block two, um, take two. Block two, I am going to use this. So how much health does he have left? Uh, six. Six. Um, and that was that was four damage, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I will, I'll keep the one. I'll, yeah, I'll just do the thing. So I okay. take four, right? Yep. Perfect. Roll off on seven. I got a one. I got to activate and then just moving up that way. I'm going to go on seven and do Charge something. Madness Demon. There. Whatever. Let's get in there. Plus two for Madness. Alright, looking for twos. All hit. Sounds Gucci. Uh, sixes. I'll block one. So take six. Um, I am going to use one of my dice. Okay. And I'm going to change a six to one. I'm going to change it to a three. Beautiful. Scorpion Lit Demon, who will heal up two. Combat Skirmish, the, um, but you, you have to be an inch away. Or, or is, is this your target who you're going to hit? This is my target, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 that's fine then. Okay, so yeah, going to Combat Skirmish from here over to there. for fours. Bonk. Uh, three. three. And I will have six to try to defend with. Looking for sixes. One six. Sounds good. Take All two. Right. Take two. We'll try to bust the objective with uh, this guy. Oh, so close. Try to All bust right. the objective with her. Stuff, right? No, it's it's just a normal attack when you try to bust the objective. You, oh. you just move to it, and then you, you swing at it with your normal unmodified combat. Gotcha. Also so close. Um, My last activation. I'll use my last soul dice to move him over. And try if I to can get him. this, then the game will be a draw. Otherwise, Rob will win. I do oh, not. We'll get it. <laughs> Without being able to roll double sixes, that'll be a good handshake for Rob and a good game. And that'll be a demented victory. Next time we play, we're going to switch up and play some different philosophies. Um, obviously play a different mission, mission just to kind of showcase off a little bit more of the game. Until then, thanks so much for tuning in, hanging out with us while we rolled some dice and played this awesomely bloody game of Rain and Hell. Hope to see you another time. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor. As always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you 
to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel, go over there, check out the link in the description, check out the Patreon. There's a lot of cool stuff over there, including access to our Discord server, talk to me, hang out with me, talk about our work, what we got going on in the hobby. Um, some shout outs, all kinds of cool stuff. Check it out if that's something that you think you would be into. And regardless of whether or not you do that, I want you to know that I am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.